Hey there! You are now listening to the Beautiful Mind and Soul Podcast. Join me, Shimi Hapai, your product launch engineer, as we unravel the secrets of successful minds and souls nowadays. Don't forget to follow and subscribe in our podcast channels. Let's begin! Hello everyone, welcome to the Beautiful Mind and Soul podcast where stories of faith, courage, and success inspire you to dream big and take action as well. And I am your host, Shimi Hapai, your product launch engineer. And today with me is the founder of the Change Maker Within program. Let's welcome Miss Angeline Verai. Woo! Woo! <laughs> welcome, welcome. Miss Angeline, actually, she is my mentor on this challenge, the Change Maker Within Challenge, a 21 day challenge. So, I invited her dito sa ating podcast for her to also share her advocacy. And napaganda kasi nito eh. That's why I'm, I want to you, my mga listeners and viewers sa YouTube channel ko, to realize ano ba yung benefit nito or ko ikaw ba para sa yung bato. So, let's ask. My mentor, Angeline Verai, about this. But before everything else, no, let's ask her about the success story or what is the story behind the advocacy she has nowadays when it comes to being a change maker. So, yeah. So, the story, okay. Actually, um, when, when, when you said you're going to interview me about the story of the change maker within, I was trying to go back kung saan siya galing. And I couldn't remember. <laughs> so, um, kasi, um, it's, um, it, para siyang, ano, if you imagine sa computer, di ba, you download stuff. Para siyang na-download sa akin, ganun. Uh-huh. But, um, but, but when I tried remembering how it began, like, how I got here, it, it all started when I was really struggling with my freelance business. So, Ano ako, mayabang ako eh. Kasi I have a lot of skills. I'm a master learner. As in, wow. kung anong gusto kong magawa, kung anong gusto kong pag-aralan, I can learn it like really fast. Yun, yun yung superpower ko eh. One of. One of my superpowers <laughs> is to learn. Learn really fast. As in, so, kaya ako mayabang. Kasi I know, whatever it is that I get into, talagang magagawa ko siya and magiging successful ako. Gan- ganun yung mindset ko. Which is always true. Except this time, I'm very frustrated because parang I've been doing things right. Uh, I, I, I have the skills. I have the, the hard work. I mean, first time mama ko and everything, so medyo kulang sa time. But even so, parang hindi ko pa din makuha yung standard kumbaga, of uh, achievement in terms of my freelance business. And then I realized, like after speaking to a lot of people, trying to do introspection, Parang, I realized na hindi pala ako freelancer. Okay? <laughs> ano siya? Yeah. I-explain ko ah. So, <laughs> a freelancer and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, sorry, an, a freelancer is also an entrepreneur. Okay? But an entrepreneur is not necessarily a freelancer. Ganun siya. So, not all entrepreneurs are freelancers. And not all, pero all freelancers, oh, ganun din actually pala, not all freelancers that are, are entrepreneurs. Ngayon, si freelancer, they trade uh, time and skill for money. Ang entrepreneur, they trade their creation for money. So, entrepreneurs create. As in, they create something new, they create something uh, on improvement, ganyan. And I realized, I'm a creator pala. <laughs> Alam ko na siya before, like, even when I was little, I've been creating things, selling them. <laughs> um, alam mo yun, parang, yeah. I've known it all along. But then, somehow, along the way, I got a little bit lost. Like, mm-hmm. okay, um, I, I, I'm a first-time mom, and I wanted to go back to the hustling. Kasi before I got pregnant, hustler talaga ako. As in, sobrang active work. And I was really doing really well. Talagang parang limitless life. Ganun. But then when I got pregnant, I had 
I was forced to slow down. And hindi ko nagustuhan yun. <laughs> Kasi hindi ako sanay, number one. Number two, parang I felt like that my identity was tagged to being a non uh, a hustler. Ganyan. So, when I was forced to slow down, parang hindi ko talaga siya matanggap. So, parang feeling ko na lose ko yung sarili ko in motherhood. So, kaya ako nag-freelance. So, nisip ko, ay, ito yung sagot. Ganyan. Pero hindi pala. <laughs> I mean, naging daan siya for me to get here. But basically, I'm not a freelancer. I, I'm a creator. So, when I started accepting that, um, nisip ko, okay, I need to do something. Pero hindi ko pa naisip kung ano. And then, uh, there was this uh, affiliate program for the Freelance Movement Tribe. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to create a bonus for for the ones who will sign up using my link. And one of the bonuses was an influencer bundle. Okay, so um, influencer bundle, why? Like at the time, I was trying to target influencers. Actually, <laughs> mm-hmm. influencer bundle. But then it evolved. Yon. Ito yung weird na part. So there were people na from the tribe na hindi naman nila pwedeng kunin yung bonuses because they're not new mem- new members. Like, you only get it when you sign up. So, but they wanted that bonus. Yeah. Parang ako, hmm, there's something here, okay? So, I asked those people, I, I asked, okay, what what stood out for you in that bundle, in that influencer bundle? And then, um, a lot of them said, it's about embracing the influencer in them. Parang ako, hmm, parang okay. And then, all along naman, I've been trying to target mga entrepreneurs who wanted to make a positive change in the world. Like, you can say they're social entrepreneurs, mga ganyan, mm-hmm. but I say they're change makers because um, social entrepreneurs are mostly for, for associated to non-profit. Okay? But change makers doesn't necessarily have to be a non-profit. Like, they can do social, uh, they can have social enterprises but for profit. Mm-hmm. So you get paid for your work, not necessarily just give it away. So yun yung naging history ng change me. And I wanted to thank um, Diane Pauline. She was the one who who thought of the term or thought of using the term change maker. Siya talaga yan eh. Nag-chat wow. yan. Oo, sobra. Like, she was one of those who was interested in the bundle. So I asked. And then, yun, sabi siya. And then, I was asking a lot of questions. Parang nag-brainstorm like, na rin kami. And then, yun, nakahanap kami ng name. And siya nakahanap nun. Parang, parang ito maganda. And then, yun, it just, it just talk with us. <laughs> so, naging change maker. Tapos, yun na, I asked people for variations. Change maker within yung nanalo. So, that's nice. how it started. Yeah. So, um, hindi na influencers yung target niya. More on, yun niya, change makers niya. Alright. Ang bilis. Ang bilis ng pangyayari for for the span of two months or less. Andito yes. na. Andito na yung program. And actually, yes. for the time na as of this uh, interview, nilo-launch siya ngayon. And possibly, no, pag nakikinig ka or nanonood ka, whatever time, abangan nyo lagi. It will be parang relaunching every now and then. But, Grabe, ang bilis na ano, dahil parang nagkaroon na alignment, yung purpose, and then ito na siya, yung timing, is the right timing to have this program. May mga taong interested talaga, more than just the influencers na mga tao, no? Kami rin, ako rin, naging part ako ng program. Actually, isa din ako dun sa mga uh, part of the tribe, freelance movement tribe, na hindi naman bago, pero I also uh, contacted my mentor, Miss Angeline, about this. So, yun, naging part nga ako. And thank you. Thank you for that wonderful experience. And we'll talk thank more about man. that later. So, now, baka sa mga nakikinig, ano nga ba yung change maker? Baka yun yung common na question nila sa thoughts nila ngayon. What is a change maker? And pwede ba ako maging isang change maker din? So, possibly, umiikot po yung mga tanong sa ganyan ngayon. Okay, so what's a change maker? A change maker is someone who sees a social need and do and does something about it, like create solutions for it. So the terms, the keywords there are social. So may social impact. Hindi pa ding kait ano lang, pool pool ganyan hindi. And um, you create the solution. Yeah, so so simple lang, de ba? 
Okay. Okay. He found a social problem. Okay, yun yung key. He found a social problem and you're gonna make a solution for it. Um, the best change makers are those who have this um, parang sa loob nila na I have to do something. Hindi yung parang gusto lang. Like, hindi nila matiis. It's, it's part of who they are. So those are the change, the best change makers. But then for your question on if anyone can be a change maker, definitely. You know why? Because nga, as long as you say yes, as long as you say yes to a social problem and that you will take the accountability to create a solution for it, change maker ka na. Oh, that's right. That's right. Just say yes and commit to it. Like take the accountability. Yan yung mga requirements. And then, yun, change maker ka na. You just follow the path. <laughs> ah, tama. And I can still remember the time. Parang nung nagsisimula kami dun sa program. It's like, parang hindi kami sure if this is for us, if uh, enough ba kami, or, yeah, parang andun ang limiting belief. Kaya na naman, self-sabotage. And isa lang akong ganito, isa akong ganyan. Parang, wala naman ako masyadong skills, hindi naman ako sikat. Ang daming tanong. Pero, when you realize that hindi naman talaga ikaw yung sa spotlight, it's more than you. It's about you helping other people. Kahit sa isang need lang. One, parang uh, need na gusto mong i-address. Tama si mentor Angeline. You can also be a change maker. And yan yung kailangan na kailangan ng panahon ngayon ng change maker. Yes. And uh, kayo nga ang inspiration ko, kayong audience ko dito sa Beautiful Mind and Soul Podcast. Every time I think about uh, how can I help millennials, Filipinos, sila yung mga lumalapit sa akin nowadays. And they say, I inspire sila. And I believe this is the movement. This is something that I can really help you with, guys. So I started with the program. And yeah, I'm a proud uh, change maker now. And thank you dun sa program ni Coach or Mentor Angeline. Okay, we can now transition to the next question, which is, uh, for you po, uh, Miss Angeline, what are the three best traits of change makers nowadays? Yung mga successful, yung mga talagang doing what they want, they're passionate about, and achieving their goals. Uh, number one is the problem that you're trying to solve. The bigger it is, the better it is. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be grandiose. grandiose that we cannot solve it. So it has to be a problem that we can solve, but the biggest problem that we can. So for example, ako, um, pangarap ko talagang makatulong sa climate action or climate change issue. But I know that it's too grandiose for me because number one, wala pa naman akong connections in terms of the um, organizations that uh, I need to connect to to be able to make a difference. So, although I can do it at home, pero, I mean, you know, sariling tulong na lang, like, there's recycling, mga ganyan. But, I want to be one of the proponents of something that will significantly impact a problem. So, to be able to impact the Climate Action um, SDG, or the UN SDG, medyo grandiose yun. So, one of the problems na lang that I wanted to solve was, since ako, last time na yung meron ako, when I became a mom, I wanted to create more people to do the same thing that I'm doing. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm trying to, um, you know, um, unleash the change makers in people that I know, or at least even if, even I, I don't know, na change maker naman kasi tayong lahat. Eh. It's just that either your wings are clipped, like your circumstances are not ideal for you to, to follow the path of a change maker or your light is dim like tagong tagong na light mo with layers of self-doubt, overwhelm um, expectations burdens, ruts, all of that and yeah. hindi ka na makashine so those are the people I want to help kasi tatanggalin lang natin yung layers so just teach them how and then okay na, they can move forward um yeah, that's the first trait, the problem. The second is, nga, um, you cannot resist but create solutions. So, may mga tao kasi, which is okay because everyone is unique, but may mga tao that are content with 
with their everyday life. Like they they don't feel the need to to do something like this, and that's fine. Except that um, niya, parang mapipilitan. Ay, hindi na pipilitan. Yun yung second trait. Yung hindi na pipilitan gumawa ng solution. So, talagang kusa. Kusa. And then, I guess number three would be uh, yung mga tao na they know that this is not for them but for other people. So, I say that loosely but if you think about it, in order to do that, you yourself have to be okay first. Meaning, you're secure. You feel you feel you feel secure. You're stable. You do have the money to, to yeah. buy food and stuff like that. So, <laughs> if you're a developer, change maker, and you have that drive, you have that fire, but you're not secure. You don't have income. You don't have food for money. How can you help other people if you haven't helped yourself yet? You cannot give yeah. what you do not have. So, yun. Yun yung third. Dapat, um, yun niya. Okay ka muna before you help other people. <laughs> That's right. It's a good uh, realization din po sa akin. Especially the third one that it's not for you, it's for other people. It, maybe it's your message that they are needing uh it's your message that is so relevant to them nowadays to really live <laughs> and take action in life and dream and of course baka ikaw din yung makapag uh, encourage for them to be a change maker as well but it all starts with you then no? and if you have a message nowadays for those who want to be a change maker miss angeline what will that be join my challenge <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know why i mean Beyond the selling, of course, I'm selling the program. So, so there should be an enrollment fee. But beyond that, those 21 days is designed for you to realize in yourself how to be a change maker, number one. Number two, how to be the best, the best self that you are already are. So people think that um, kailangan, may, requ- may requirements yan, kailangan, ganito ako, ganito, ganito. I have to become this, I have to become that, I have to become whatever. That's not true. You, you're already perfect the way you are. And you do not have to become whatever. Just be yourself. Just just be you. So yun yung, dun sa program, you will learn how to do that. And then the next is how you will find what message you're supposed to be sending out. Like, what kind of um, problems are you interested in solving? Or what kind of industries or markets you're, you're supposed to be serving, di ba? Mga business people, mga entrepreneur, like, mga nalilito, what niche to go for, mga ganyan. Ano siya eh, it all starts in your core. And once you get to know your core, everything else madali nang sagutin. So, yeah. in that 21 days, that's what you can expect. You will know yourself better. You would have the tools to continue getting to know yourself, peeling off those layers, mga expectations, rats, lahat yan, mga issue-issue, mga clarity issues, yan. Matatanggal yan, swear. I mean, I can totally promise that. <laughs> and then, at the end of it, you would know how you can use your message, the one that you've discovered, to spread it to the people that need it and transform lives and change the world. Eventually. Wow. <laughs> so, you cannot, the, sorry, you, cannot, you cannot change the world in 21 days. Okay? But, you can change the world for someone else probably in less in less days <laughs> and definitely nowadays uh, my audience are keen excited to join the 21 day challenge how can they uh, connect with you or yeah what website will they check if this challenge is still open or will they wait for another enrollment okay so just go to changemakerwithin.com slash challenge and um, it's open right now. The enrollment is open until Monday, July 13, end of day. So uh, the challenge starts July 13 for this month. And um, if you're going to register on the same day, that's fine. 
but come Tuesday, wala na, sarado na. So, kasi mahirap nang humabol. <laughs> so, so, yun siya. Um, if, you, if you see this video after that, then most definitely just go to changemakerwithin.com slash challenge. It's gonna be the same link all the time. Yeah. And yeah, you can also check on Facebook, Changemaker Within, for any updates regarding that. And I really urge you to join this first round because... As you said earlier, we need more change makers right now, especially at these trying times. So the earlier that you can unleash that from within you and share your message to the world, the better. Because there's an activity there, I won't spoil it, that uh, needs a hundred days. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, so the earlier you start that, the better. So yun siya. Thanks. Okay, that's wonderful. So, so you, my audience, if you want also to become the change maker that you are already are, join the challenge. It's definitely worth it. And I've been there, can join. And we also have a community inside once you join and the community of change makers. And it is, that is something priceless, priceless. It's more than, I don't know, you're doing the journey alone. It's not that. You will do it with a lot of people who are like you, like-minded, like so thank you for being here in the podcast, Miss Angeline. It's a wonderful interview. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and definitely I encourage people, not only this subscribe the subscribers of mine, but my colleagues, my friends to really join the challenge as well. Especially nowadays, minsan nahihirap lang silang hanapin kung ano ba yung gusto nilang gawin next or kung may purpose pa ba silang kailangan gawin. So yeah, this is something uh, that can enlighten you guys. Join this challenge and it's great you watch this episode. It's definitely for you. It's God, God's way to show you that you have, you have uh, something that you can share to this world. And you have a purpose, my friend, a calling. So thank you, Miss Angeline, being here. And we are excited to meet. I am excited to meet new challengers in the program inside the group <laughs> and See again inside. yeah <laughs> and as i always say everybody you don't need to be great to start you just need to start to be great i am shimi hapai the product launch engineer and this is another episode of the beautiful mind and soul podcast and i lift everything up to our god above there's jesus bye everyone bye thank you for your support in this podcast episode don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow our podcast channels. See you in our next episode. God bless you.